due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. Welcome back to the other side of the beehive. Episode 192. You uh, look a little pasty there, my friend. Pasty? Yeah. I got a little colors from last weekend. Why am I pasty? Oh, you're just not the regular brown guy that's usually no, sitting next to me. usually sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm not the angel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Angel's not here today. He's not here this week. Uh, yeah. It took me 192 episodes yeah, to him. ship him back to the motherland. Yeah, and they took him? Yeah. <laughs> He's still there, right? <laughs> What's no, he doing out there? He's vacationing. He finally took a, took a break. So is he from, is he vacationing where he's... Do you know what, what part of Mexico? Uh, Yucatan. Like the Yucatan Peninsula, Peninsula <laughs> where like his, he said his hometown but before, but it's... It's not? I, I, no, it is. Oh, I just, okay. I don't remember. Shit. Yeah. He no, fun? he's out there, out there having a good time. The videos I've seen, <laughs> it looks like he's just watching Circus Olay, <laughs> the Mexican <laughs> edition. seen a couple of his Facebook pictures. It looks like he's having a good time. <laughs> I thought, I'll bet uh, your mom planned this trip yeah, right. for the most exactly. part, right? <laughs> 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 looks like he's thrilled out of his mind. <laughs> oh man that's good uh, though good it looks it back. looks beautiful yeah. where he's at in some of the scenery that he's shown me yeah, uh they got some little, weird ass uh squirrel monkeys and shit running out there, around they out got there. little rodent we's in uh played a car and they got these like a rack it's like a rodent I don't know, this motherfucking kinda, thing looks like uh almost like a brown raccoon Fucking with a long ass chupacabra. monkey tail a chupacabra oh they have those in mexico yeah, yeah, they're all over nasty you know we're gonna get so much heat because I'm just gonna just guess about Mexico okay. here in this episode, and, then and I won't come back to find yeah. out all the bullshit you're talking about. <laughs> or I'm no. right. Well, I just figured <laughs> it was pretty close. <laughs> Everything I see on TV is right. No, uh, of course, that's good, Mr. Jason Bound. Yeah, how many is this? Is number this is three, three, second time being on camera air. Yeah, but it just doesn't matter. It doesn't does the camera bother you that much? It does, really. Not this time, so there's nobody so. there. Well, no, but. The first time when I came down, I was, I was not feeling well, good yeah. at all. But yeah. I feel a little better this time. So. Yo, uh, there's not a lot of three peats here. We've had a couple. Um, Will Dre, obviously Dre's mm-hmm. been on a, uh, he's been on a hundred of ninety two episodes that we've had <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or ninety two. Pretty good. Um, but I know. Thank you for joining no, me. No problem. Thanks, Thanks for, for co-hosting with me. I like being right here. This is kind of these chairs. Are, they look they look more comfortable. They're more comfy than yeah. the seat over here. That one just kind of asks this is the hot seat because you just kind of maybe that's the, why I was so nervous. This is the hot seat. Yeah, I sense. figure where we found these couches. This is where the hobo slept anyway. Just, so just, yeah, okay. Yeah, fucking bastards. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, um, <laughs> what has been up, Mister? Since the last since the last time. Well. That was, uh, we just got married. Or was I getting married? We just got married. Were you just married? I think I just got married or we were getting married. We were February time. But I'm married still. Still? You know, Congratulations. Got that guy there. How's it going now that it's settled in? It's good. We had a little hookup over the weekend, but. <laughs> you had a what? <laughs> a little bit of a hiccup. Well, I thought you said hookup ah, over the weekend. Well, a little hiccup. Yeah, it got. That's, uh, uh, it that's got, marriage. Uh, yeah, it got physical. Ooh. Yeah. Should we uh, be talking about this? I got beat. Oh, well, <laughs> I probably as long as you it. got beat, that's all right. <laughs> um, no, nah, it's good, though. No, uh, day by day, that's... that's No, every day. That's marriages, right? But no, she's... Uh, she, I get a, we have a lot of damn fun. That's probably why we... I ended up joking around too much. That's probably why I got smacked around. But we joke around too much because we just... Great, great friendship. So, um. Whatever. This, uh, was this alcohol induced? Oh, of course. Always, right? <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty blind if it's just sober. <laughs> Imagine oh, if you weren't, man. if you didn't drink. Oh, what was it? It was a combination like, of, uh, oh, dude, what was I'd the cleavers? What was the fucking? Freaking, be- or, uh, I believe it's the beaver. <laughs> yeah, what was <laughs> the, what was, uh. That was a June or something. June cleaver yeah. and fucking. Oh, dude, it would be just like that. <laughs> be horrible. Yeah, because I'm by not much exciting person. But no, it was just a combination of, we went to Wendover and. Hadn't been to sleep, so I wanted to get my energy up, so I had some Adderall and, you know, all that good Jesus stuff. Jesus Christ, then, man. And then just the Jack and Cokes, I just kept going. I hear that room. shit is like cocaine. Adderall? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really? good. Really? I mean, if you don't need it, it's supposed to be, you know, ideally it's for people with ADHD who can't focus and all that. But if you don't necessarily have those problems and you take it, it just amps you up. It doesn't get you super... It, for me, it just keeps me awake forever. I could be. I took one one time and I was up for forty two hours. Got a lot of accomplished. Jesus but, Christ! But yeah, so on, they say it's almost borderline like meth. 
Well, I think it is meth. Yes, I think it's just a. I, I it's think a, if, it's you take a, if, you, if you take a drug test, so, yeah, it, that will pop up. It gets up on triggered, it. Yeah. and they say, "Hey, what's this?" <laughs> what and you show with? them your uh, your results, yeah. and everything's good. But no. yeah, I've, I've but never, I, never tried Adderall, but I hear that's like the like college students. Yeah. Oh well, they'll take that and focus, so they can just study, 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 and they just have no desire to sleep whatsoever, eat nothing. They just focus. Get the fuck so, out of yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, I'd be on these, and, you know, you know, me, I used to eat, like, every three hours. I'd go, shit, I'd go two, a day and a half not eating, not even worried about it, not getting hungry. But, but then you end up just going down that dark little path of drinking and drinking and drinking, because then it just makes you so want to drink So can you more. just drink, like, a fucking oh, fish yeah, on that? Like, there's no end to it. Like, really? You, you don't feel it. You don't feel the, the buzz from the alcohol. A lot of drugs <clears> will <throat> do that to you. Oh. Um <clears throat> I, way, way back in the day, uh, mushrooms, mm. I used to just drink and drink and drink and, and drink and drink. And just ne I never yeah. felt drunk until the mushrooms were off, off, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> we got a problem now. <laughs> then by then, you're, you're yeah, beyond, I mean, you're, you're ridiculous. Yeah. But So you work nights, though. Yeah, so, so that's you, what. You stayed up So that's what all screws night. me up every time. So if we're, if we're on camping trips or road trips or just going out, I get off uh, Friday morning at 7 a.m., and typically, I want to leave, so I'll stay up. And if I'm tired, I'll pop an Adderall. A lot of times, I won't go to bed at all that day. And then, you know, start <laughs> drinking. And then the next day comes around, and you're still got some energy. So you start drinking again, and then you just, you just don't sleep. You just not necessarily forget. You just don't sleep. You just don't feel like the need to drink or uh, sleep. Yeah, I'd mess with it because when you crash on, we come down off it. It's, it's pretty hard. So if you, you work Thursday night, mm -hmm. you, you go into Friday, Friday morning. Friday you, morning. Sometimes, most of the time, that since I've known you, you just yeah, don't go to I, sleep. There's a lot of just, times I don't sleep on Friday. Just either be yard work chores, you know, or just things going on, or you know, you stupid, but you can squeeze an extra day into your weekend right. <laughs> by not sleeping. But do you? So come Friday night, do you go to sleep? I can usually, even if I if I don't sleep, if I get off and go to home, go if I don't go to bed Friday morning. And stay up all night. I can still I can get right back on a day shift schedule pretty easy for some reason. I don't have that lag, so I can either sleep, get off uh, Friday morning, go to bed, say w wake up around one or two, then I can go right back to bed nine or ten that night for some reason. And then when you go back to work, Monday then night I usually or Sunday go, night. I usually go back to work Sunday night or Monday night. It just just depends, depends on the weeks, so every <laughs> opposite weeks, every other week. Well, so you get every other one off, yeah. huh? Yep. And then yeah, so that Sunday coming in, you know, staying up all night. You know, it's so the Sunday nights. Them are pretty tough at work. They're pretty for everybody at work. It's just tough getting back on a night's a I night can schedule. imagine. So, but they got pills for it that are <laughs> yeah, Adderall, I mean, right? It, it You've been talking about it for eight minutes. <laughs> so they got now, right? same pills, <laughs> same same function, just a little bit uh, less strenuous on your system. But they're designed for night shift workers to give you just that energy throughout the night, and then you go to bed and wake up. And is it a is it a prescription? Yeah. Really? That one's actually still an amphetamine, so it's still on the same lines of Adderall. Wow. But my buddy's taking he loves them because, you know, you get to a point where at night times you're just, you're dead tired, and especially if a few things at night, we're not working, we're not busy, and then you just, nothing, right. you get so tired. He's been on these pills for the last six months, and he loves them. Says so he's got tons of energy, doesn't eat monsters or Red Bulls or anything, and no coffee, just rides out, then goes home, gets off work at six or seven, goes right to bed, and he's fine. Up. A lot of the guys that I hear, um, where I work, we don't have set guys that always stay on nights, but That's we'll have right. guys that will work nights for a long period of time mm -hmm. through the summertime, right? Um, You're they claim, guys, right? yeah, a lot, a lot of our, a lot of those guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but they'll tell me, I says, you know, if they're they're like, well, sometimes I have a hard time going to sleep when I mm -hmm. get home in the morning, you know, so I start drinking. Yeah, oh. I'm like. You'll drink at seven o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, it puts look, me right out. You look like a freaking jackass on your back porch and listen to birds and stuff. Freaking drinking a beer, drinking a beer, or something. It's peaceful. But cedar. So I I'll do that. Or sometimes I can usually go right to bed. But if I can't, so say I've been up all night and I had to take an Adderall, I'll go home and pop an Ambien. <laughs> Holy shit, Jason! <laughs> so you know you got your uppers and downers, but. <laughs> Yeah, my, my sh it's just never constant. So my body's just constantly guessing what's going on the next day. So when did you uh, get sponsored by Pfizer? God, no kidding. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they give me all the stuff. <laughs> all the blue pills, ironically. Yeah. <laughs> um, have a, uh, we're going to have gonna a, a sip of some uh, Tiger Thick. I know we talked about this on the last episode. Um, I was impressed with it. Uh, 
here's where I was disappointed, where I knew you would enjoy this, right? The other two guys, mm -hmm. shout out to Ainge and Mr. George okay. Lee, who was here last week. Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, he brought this. Uh, we all tried it. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And I'm like, oh, it's really good. Well, they but, decided, they were like, well, no, it's not that good. Yeah. So they just mixed it with fucking lemonade. Mm. Are you a, a mixer when it comes to... Now, vodka is a different story, right? Because nobody can just, just sip vodka. Unless I you're have, fucking Russian. Yeah, I have actually sipped vodka on ice. A decent vodka Tito's or some goose or something. But no, typically my vodka is... I just buy the smear off this because I am planning on mixing. But go but, ahead with your... But a, but a whiskey, do you drink a... Do you, do you mix a whiskey? It depends. Um... Like uh, Scotch whiskey, I'll do a Glen Levitt 12. Yeah. I tried the 18s, and I just don't like that, but I will always have that just on ice yeah. or by itself. Yeah. Um, the only times I'll mix whiskeys if I'm, say, Jack, Jack, Jack Some and Coke. Shitty. Some if, shitty. Yeah. But I'll whiskey. even have Jack Daniel straight, but it's just typically I'll buy. I'm not going to spend 100 bucks on a bottle of decent whiskey and yeah. drought down with some lemonade or some uh, Coke. But, well, cheers. Cheers, my man. Tell me what you think about this. That's not a Scotch whiskey. That's good. It's an American bourbon mixed with Japanese whiskey. Japanese. I got a funny story about Japanese. Oh, tell me about the Japanese. I applied for a job in Japan. Really? <laughs> yeah. What kind of job? I like that. That's good. <coughs> uh, it's still for government. So uh, Yeah, uh, it's for anybody that knows this guy's a government worker. Yeah, unfortunately, it's got its ups and downs, but... No, a uh, uh, really, job, and job mama was good with mama was okay with that. Yes and no. No, I want to come across USA Jobs. Uh, basically, they just need a sheet metal mechanic, just same stuff I'm doing, but it's in Okinawa, Japan. Oh, Okinawa, yeah, so home of the uh, uh, uh Madagi, uh, Mad some, some. <laughs> what is that? I just been watching Ky uh, Cobra, the Cobra Kai, Kai. So the, I've got to uh, see any of those, uh, so. really? Uh -uh. Uh, it's home of the uh, Miyagi Do. <laughs> so they were, from what I we did a bunch of research on the way uh, camping and just going off about <laughs> what's what is that you know known for. And I think okay, now it's supposed to be dope think, as fuck. Yeah, I think karate actually um, was originated in yeah. Japan. Maybe not necessarily Okinawa, but yeah, the culture seems pretty cool. Their food, I love sushi, but I just there's a lot of stuff that might be a little different. But uh, the beaches, you know, that would be insane. You guys don't have any daughters. You ought to be okay oh, there. Yeah, we find out. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, we go see the home of the geishas and all that. And uh, I didn't really understand what a geisha was, but it sounds like they're uh, women brought up and they're paid for their virginity, I guess. Oh no they're, way! I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought a geisha I, was just like. But they're uh, the white face. Yeah, you know, they, they dress them real pretty. But I, from what I yo, sounds Asians like, go white face, uh, and people are okay with that. The Japanese, we go black face. Yeah, you get. <laughs> no, I've watched you. You've gone black oh, face. Go black you have face. gone black yep, face. Yep. Now, viewer discretion. He was oh, in a bodybuilding yeah, competition. It, it so. was. It, I had to go. That <laughs> so anyway, just, continue with yeah. the white face Asians. <laughs> no kidding, right? Yeah. So we just did a bunch of uh, uh, research on it. Yeah, that's where the geishas come from. And I was like, because Morgan's like, yeah, she. Loves everything about that culture, and it's like, so what the hell is the geishas? Say, well, they pretty much say raise these little girls into women, proper women, and then they sell them to the highest bidder for their virginity. I guess. Get the. I fuck could out be. Here. I could be miles off, but that's everything I kind of read about it. But I don't know. So yeah, that job came across the USA Jobs, and just you know, a sheet metal mechanic is like, ah, I don't know. So we got a friend that's over there right now. He's a supervisor, so I talked to him a little bit about it. I said, yeah, you love it over here. And he's actually over the program I'd be, be in charge of, or not in charge, but where I'd be going to. So I don't know. Through the application and see what happens. But the more and more I think about it, it'd be stressful, especially with the kids and all that. I mean, Yeah, the kids would have to so go there. The Maverick, kids would have to learn a new, a yeah, new language. So the, the, the Air Force base... I guess it's it's all it's an American base, just in Japan. But I guess some of the, the schools out there are phenomenal. Just really, the education they can get from them, just and the food. It's just basically, if they say if you the second you walk in the gates of the base, you'd think you're just back in America. The really, everything's, everything's you know it just everything's it's Americanized it is, in the yeah. base, right? But the second you walk out, then yeah, everything's on the opposite side of the road. And, ooh. <laughs> 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 Give me a minute. <laughs> um, but, uh, would uh, uh, I mean just uh, just I know, but a little backstory. Um, you do have a, a son. Yep. Through your first marriage, twelve year old um, Maverick. How would that work out? And see, that's the downside. And he was all excited. He was sad at first, but he's like, you know, he would like to go and travel and you know check it out. But unfortunately, he would have to stay here. 
yeah. with you know his mother. So yeah. I would see if this you know we're just kind of wishful thinking here if it would work if I could have him during the summertime and uh, have him over there and just come back and forth visit a few times. How dope would that be to spend yeah. summers in fucking Japan? But this is only a two year gig. Oh, so it's not, okay, it's not, it's not a permanent. permanent. So, but well, I, I was under the impression they were they're hiring you know five six seven people they're looking for one guy. So oh. So I don't know, and uh, they're looking for a guy with painting skills, aircraft painting skills, which I don't have. But I've seen your mm, handwriting. It's, it's I asked, oh, Maverick draws <laughs> yeah, really good. Yeah. You're all, oh, uh, that's mine. <laughs> See the big red, <laughs> big red crayons. Oh, so but now Morgan, she was she was actually excited about it. Uh, Maverick, I thought he would be. He was actually more thrilled about it, just to go, you know, experience something new and Absolutely. culture and all that, travel and. He goes, yeah, I could tell my friends about that. And he goes, yeah. He said, I just told me all you know, the possibility of me only seeing you once every four or five months. He's like, yeah, yeah that's... that would be kind of tough. So right now where he's 12, you know, he's in that. He just started junior high. It's going to be kind of tough. That'd be, a, that'd be a big step to walk away from your son at that, that age. Damn, that's so, right. He is in junior yeah, high, huh? He's just loving it. He's, he's got all these girlfriends now. He's shooting up. He's Every time he comes over, he grows like an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch every, every week, it seems like. So is he into girls now? Oh, yeah. Really? Bad. Like, I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, never that I had doubts or anything. But, <clears throat> no, yeah, I didn't notice his, it. I'm just like, it, it's weird it's when it the, turns. The so. second he went into junior high, because he had a girlfriend in uh, sixth grade, you know, whatever you consider a girlfriend at that time. But now he's in junior high, and all these new girls from different schools are around. They're talking to him, and, you know, he's says a lot of girls are, you know, saying hi to him and think he's cute. And he's even got guys smacking his ass, so... Oh, yeah, so congratulations. Yeah, some, some, That's when you should feel good about yourself, yeah, when, you know, when the boys yeah, are... When the boys are digging you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got, you're got you a good-looking man at yeah. that point. So he told Yo. me, he come up the other day, said, yeah, this kid, he just, I know who he is, but he's come up and just gave me a hug and grabbed my ass. What the hell? I don't know, maybe that's what kids are doing these days. I hope not, but... Hmm, I said, very interesting. Did you like that? I said, no, it made me feel very uncomfortable. So, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it doesn't matter how he feels, all right? I would love him you're, either way. But. You're at the other side of the beehive. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, we've talked about it. In fact, we had an entire episode where I realized that my oldest one is is getting the point where she's she knows what boys are. Uh, now, she's right? what, 10? Uh, 11. 11, ugh. And so... Um, it's different from a for oh, a boy, Garrett, right? Agree, it's I different for so a boy and, and, and have a, have a daughter and. Yeah, cause him and I, we can <clears throat> kind of banter back and forth about it, you know, and right. just talking talking about dances and stuff, and you know, should I kiss her, not kiss her? You having daughters, I don't know what I, I but, don't know. But you know what? The more advice that I got after that episode, the more I got told is that's how I should talk to my daughter. Just as like well. she was your, just like she, she was, was a son. boy, and okay. just be like completely open and honest and and not. Give her shit about yeah, it, but, shut it down and, but you know. enjoy it and have mm-hmm. fun with it, and and that's gonna make her. Um, we step. we all know those ones with daddy problems. Oh, I know you oh, know oh, yeah. the ones yep. with daddy problems, right? Definitely. And, and yep. I don't want to be that guy, yeah, exactly. but um, yeah, a, a strange time to have kids. Yeah, you know, because you remember when you were twelve, right? Oh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So no, it's just this is night and day now, and then we got all these new hims, hers, the pronouns about who they identify in differently, and it's like. Strange, it's scary. That shit will go away. I soon. hope it does. That shit will evidently go away soon. and uh, Walkerist in South or um, West Weber. Uh, there's the junior high, Walkerist junior high. There's I've never even heard of that junior yeah, high, by the way. They're calling them furries, and I guess the school board went ahead and okayed it that the, the there's kids that are identifying themselves as cats, and I don't know how the hell they're getting away with this shit, but cats, yeah, cats, like, cats, like. They'll now wear a collar. Cats? Now, you know the ears and the tail, and they'll wear collars and shit. And they actually put kitty litters. Um, Get the fuck in out the of bathrooms. here! There's just Get no the way in hell. My buddy, I swear to God, he said they had a big old rap about it on their uh, their <laughs> web page or whatever. Like, how <laughs> imagine this, how you're the fucking the you're parent the, of that. You know, no God. <laughs> beyond that, imagine. You've been the janitor there oh, for 25 now years, right? This shit. right? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah, you're just like these goddamn well, kids can't even piss in the toilet, let <laughs> no, alone no, no, now your job <laughs> is to clean the litter box. So <laughs> kids can take shits in the litter box. <laughs> Imagine walking around, you know, it's embarrassing enough, you know, when somebody's taking a piss or you oh, walk yeah. around the stalls yeah. or open, some oh, dude's taking so. a yeah. shit, right? Taking a, some kids crawled up, yeah. taking a fucking deuce. <laughs> <Does> <laughs> they, they kick their legs and shit. shit. 
<laughs> fuck, by a sudden period, I'll hop up on that catnip. And they're fucking going crazy oh, yeah, and shit, yeah. man. <laughs> no more drug busts. No, catnip. No, no catnip. <laughs> so I was telling my buddies, like, there's no way this is real. Yeah, dude, look it up. I was like, fuck, I got to check this out. But no. Furries. Okay. So. Well, um, I guess I got a lot to learn. Yeah, but I don't know why or how, you know, you being a parent, you'd. Uh, how would that be okay? How would you think that would be okay? I, um, I think there's a lot of new, these new generations. Yeah, that, this, I think there's a lot of parents out there that I don't want to hurt their feelings and I want them to be who they are. But. Th- well, I don't even think that's that. I don't, I don't think the kids decide that it's, Society? I want my kid to stand out, but my kid's obviously not a fucking rock star basketball gotcha. player, okay. football player. Um, so I'm going to force my kid to, um, seek attention. they're going to be just, this him, it yeah. or or whatever the pronoun is, um, I don't think that comes from kids naturally. Now, so. now uh, a, a child that might be gay, mm-hmm. I do believe oh, yeah. that that's natural, yeah. right? But I don't believe that uh, a kid wakes up one day and a, at a, seven years old and he's like, "I should be a woman." Yeah. I want to be a cat, and that's fine if that's what you want mm-hmm. to do. But hey, but let's just, let's uh, do that when you're an adult. Yeah. When, when your brain turn. is developed exactly. and you've made that decision and yep. don't let a parent, oh, oh, wait, you, you don't want to tiptoe down this road because you're starting to get on the political side. Oh, yeah, so definitely. we obviously, we stay away mm-hmm. from that here, but I, I have a hard time believing that a, a six or seven it year knows old knows exactly that what, what they're, they're they want to be yeah. the, the other gender, right? Mm-hmm. As far as the gay thing, I, yeah. I totally believe that. Yeah, because my cousin, he grew up, he was gay. He decided he, he came out around 10 or 11 and we, everybody knew he was and, uh, well, it was cool because once he let it out, just the relief you could see in him. It was like, oh. Just, you know, you know, his dad had a rough time with it, but nowadays, like, nobody cares. He actually just got married uh, a few months ago. To another man? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Congratulations. Great couple. They're awesome people, funnier than hell. And, yeah, they're just great. But interesting enough, my other cousin, so his brother had twins, and one of the twins is, um, they're not sure if he's, He's not necessarily gay, but he, he, they're thinking maybe he might be something the, along the trans, uh, like he just like, uh, almost identifies as a woman, but he's so young still, but it's like, yeah, I don't know when, when that'd be a good time to break it to him. And his parents don't push that. Mm-hmm. They just let, just him, let him be him. Be. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, awesome. Maybe I'm fucking wrong. They let him be up until, so I don't know. I don't, it, they're still super young. Like I, said, I think he's five or six. Wow. Way young, but mm-hmm. you can see the traits in him. This. So he just would rather be dressed up in dresses and, you know, wear jewelry and all that. But his twin brother, completely boy, you know, so. Right. But yeah, so I, I can see the genetics, but, you know, for you to wake up one day and be like, you know, I just, today's the day. I want to chop my dick off. So. Today is the greatest. <laughs> Yo, speaking of, mm. um, you know, you kind of brought the pregnancy thing up. I saw this shit. <sighs> Um, and shout out to, uh, my man, Dre, the number one chief rocker for sharing this. Um, but, uh, yo, so the title of this, this news story, and you may have seen this, um, Utah mom, I'm 56 and pregnant Okay. with my son's baby. This is, holy shit, Utah. Yeah, so I mean, so she's <clears throat> she's fifty six. Admitting, she's fifty six years old, first and foremost, right? Yeah, and That's she's good. pregnant, and it's her son's baby. So they went right out saying that they've had sex, or was there something? More Not or less? quite. So you read that title and you go automatically think, and it's this is a Utah, yeah. this is a Utah couple, right? Automatically you think, what the fuck, right? Mm-hmm. That's what. Clickbait rules you in, right? <clears throat> Turns out uh, that <clears throat> the mother is uh, pregnant with her son's baby. She's the surrogate for his oh. wife. So why couldn't they just... So apparently she couldn't have yeah. another so, child. So, so he, she said, I will carry the baby for you. Obviously, wife. they put the egg yeah. in her. They seminate it with his semen. Mm. And she is carrying their baby. Her son's baby. But Does that seem weird to you? Or but, is it actually... It, it can go both, obviously, both ways. Because, yeah, you don't trust anybody else. You don't... You're not gonna, That's where I'm you're getting not, at. You're not going to pay... Because that surrogate, you, you can make a shitload of money on that. You're not going to go pay a stranger. <laughs> Your mom's like, hey, motherfucker, yeah, I, I, you need to I cough up you, here, bud. <laughs> we had room and board for 18 years, and now you want me to ruin, <laughs> now you want me to ruin this body? And mom looks pretty hot, if I'm being uh, honest, right? Let me see. <laughs> 
Dad, dad looks fucking he's pristine. So look at him. Uh, I don't know if he would be pissed. Oh, look at that. He's packing heat. Look at him. But, uh. So that's the son. And, and uh, his wife. wife. Okay. I mean. Yeah, they could. So they like, didn't have they, sex. They didn't no, have not. No, let's so let's be honest. There was, there was, there was. And <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I've You're so a, fucking. To the point. <laughs> I thought I actually had this, uh. Conversation, yeah, brought to me. Um, a woman at work, she doesn't work there anymore. She, she uh, wanted you to carry your baby, she swore to God. She, no, you uh, to carry your baby. Come on, she wanted to carry my baby. Oh, she wanted a baby. She, god damn, dude. She, um, yeah, this is only a couple years ago, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she just was dating a lot of people and just seeing all everybody she was dating. She really wanted a family, and this guy she was with just didn't want to settle down. So she just went and dated and dated and dated. And she's like, I just want a child. I want a baby. And then one day we got talking to work. I went to go grab some materials. And uh, her coworker said, hey, um, Martha's got something to ask you. Oh, Martha. Huh? Martha. And uh, I was like, all right, what's up? So what, would, you, would you ever consider being a father of uh, somebody else's baby but not have anything to do with it? Just basically just need your seed. And I said, I don't know, because, you know, down the road, he might want to be curious about how <clears> his father is, his, right? right? And, you know, it could always come back. And then so I said, I don't know. I, I told her, you know, I was on the fence about it, and I couldn't really get a straight answer. And then, like, a day or two later, it went sounded by. pretty straight. <laughs> well, well, I was just <laughs> coming to find out it was her. She's like, so basically, I want you to impregnate me. I was like, like, what, just go in the back here and knock one out? Or do we want to do a... Uh, doctor's office visit and doing the cup and all that. And so I doesn't honestly doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like, so I was, I was flattered. Uh, I said, you know, why me? So I did just everything about she you. She said those just, beautiful blue baby you know, eyes, baby some, blues, She did right? bring up the eyes. Of course she did. And then, uh, and That's I just. the only reason I'd fucking, you know, it. give you the hanky panky. Appreciate it. <laughs> but, uh, she but no, was. It was, it was flattering, but then I started thinking, you know, I'll just. This what if this, be, what it's if, a trap. You know, or sucker turns out to be a freaking excellent basketball player and making money. And you know, uh, Jason, see, come on, come no, on, but see, come on, I'm a little below on. average on the you're, height. You're, what are you, a five, five, seven? <laughs> on a good day, at best, right? And, and you're white. <laughs> and you said, out of all, all of the things, said you could have said he could have been one of the Hockey greatest computer <laughs> fucking. No, no, not even, that, not, not even. Not even. I've seen whatsoever. you walk, let alone ice skate or fucking dribble a basketball. My hand eye coordination is insane. So I, I like that you went down that yeah, avenue. I try, right? try to you know pat on the back a little bit, but no. But yeah, she uh, said, you know, just be <laughs> straight up. I just want you to. I want to have your baby. It's like. God damn! I've never. It's never been put to me like that. I was like, you know, so I, I was kind of taken back by it. I was, like I said, I was flattered. But and this all happened at work. You guys, oh, yeah. you never went out nope, to like have lunch it. or the anything only, like that. The only that? conversations I have with her is, "Hi, I need some sealant or I need some fasteners." We we chit chat small stuff, but then she would go talk to her other coworker, and they be all talky talky, and evidently she had a huge crush on me, and that just got brought up out of the blue. I was like, hmm. evidently she'd been thinking about it and. What a pickup line. Like, straight to the point. Yeah. Like, uh, the, what they talk about men are like we're built to procreate, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, all men do is think about sex, exactly. right? Well, well, she just stood on Basically top of the said, fucking hey, fence and what? said, hey, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> wow. So, was she hot? She was, she was cute. She was... She was not unattractive. She was not super attractive, but she had a great personality. <laughs> oh, she was ugly as shit, so. then. <laughs> Her name was Martha, and she had a great personality. Roof, roof. Walk right into this one. Right? <laughs> yeah, that paper's rough. Oh, fuck. But, Ooh. yeah, so she got a new job, and I haven't seen her talk to her for a while, so. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> but, nah. No, I told her, you know. For the fact that I, it'd be crazy to think that you know, down you the road, had a I child had out there. Child it's it's one I thing to be, not it's one no, thing to not yeah, know not you know, have a child. No, damn well you're. This is what's going on. You're going to the doctor's office to get this gal pregnant, and then she's going to have your child. And she said no strings attached. Like we could write up a contract, go to lawyers, and all. Oh, this. there was a contract involved. She said, "I just strictly just want." She's baby hungry. Yeah. You know she could just go. I told her why not. Just I told her what you know, like sperm banks or all that stuff. She I'd looked into. I just. It just wasn't for me. I just, she just kept. It's saying, probably pretty expensive. I would imagine. So, damn. Yeah, I told Morgan that. Said, oh, that's cute. 
this is like right when we first started. Oh, dating. you guys were together. Yeah, we just started barely started dating. This is right. This is back in end of end of nineteen, almost twenty uh, twenty. Well, uh, no. Thanks for conversation. I guess this was great conversation. But then it's funny <laughs> because because you know that was a couple years ago and it got brought up again by her coworkers still works there. Hey, you remember Martha? I said, like, yeah, she, yeah, she was asking about you again. I was like, boy, she wants to want a baby. So, yeah, she still wants a baby. Holy shit. I was like, Geez. so, but. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's dedication, man. But yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. I, I actually sat down and thought about it because it would be kind of cool to give her, to be, you know, like not necessarily pitied her, felt bad. It's just, you know, she wanted a child so bad. And, but yeah, like, said it'd be so weird knowing that there's somebody else out there mavericks yeah. potentially got a brother and yeah that, that would make shit down the road kind of weird hmm. you know thanksgivings and shit i mean <laughs> <laughs> <You're> wow <laughs> <laughs> the bastard child's coming He's over coming for thanksgiving. Back to <laughs> <laughs> oh shit uh, yo so uh it's fall time love it um have you been hunting yet i just got Avid back. hunter I have an animal killer. Yep, I'm trying. I just got back from a few days and he won us. Went out for two separate times for elk hunting archery and nothing. Just got back on Thursday and they seen a lot of seen a lot of a uh, sign. A lot of heard a lot of cows mewing and elk, you know, just bugling all that shit. But they couldn't come. They couldn't get them to come down to me. A lot more people I had this area. I've been hunting the last probably four years i killed a cow up in there and seen a lot of action and just all of a sudden just just getting decimated by more and more people more more and more people are starting to bow hunt there's a lot more activity on the mountains and just stuff so it is <clears throat> obviously the the population is growing oh, yeah, definitely. quite a bit out here yeah. um you know utah's not i, I you know we grew up in the bottoms yeah. right yeah, where there it was, was nothing, nothing there's nothing, nothing there and i go down there now time, and just, yeah you've been down there recently <clears throat> well you know I, we're we're building that big highway mm. down there right yeah, so I, I it's, it's heartbreaking at yeah. times but i understand because even when i was growing up my dad would tell me <clears throat> this place yeah, is nothing, nothing like it there. used to oh, be there used to be nothing, nothing here right filter. and now where where i grew up there was nothing there and mm. now it's mm. it's so fucking yeah. so so bad so you can see why um hunting's probably not as easy as it used not, to be right now the the uh, population's not another as much as it was the the dnr i don't know if they're doing as great a job as managing the units right they're just like so an archery elk tag you can just go over the counter and they'll just Give it to whoever they anybody. Want, anybody, really. You, know, you don't get a drop for it. It's, it's, oh, it's, I didn't know that. But see, for <clears throat> so this is what kind of upset me this year is so Morgan and Maverick. He turned twelve this year, so I was excited. We got him through hunter safety. Morgan decided she wanted to try hunting, so we put her through hunter safety. Very nice. And uh, got that all completed, and then was going to put in for a rifle deer hunt for October of this year, and then nobody drew. Everybody. Oh, really? So, so for deer, art for rifle deer, you still got to draw a tag and to even go hunt archery. Um, Elk hunting, it's unlimited. There's just no cap on the tag. You just go buy one and elk hunting. Yep. It, yep yes. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, the legendary <laughs> elk hunting. <laughs> so yeah, I went out and I didn't hunt as many days as I wanted. I probably only had about six days total, but I could still hunt the Wasatch Front on the extended. But no, we had a, the first weekend I went out. It was uh, perfect weather, and then it just rained and rained yeah. and rained, and then I have no waterproof gear. My boots were soaked the first day socks and everything and i was in a tent and shit was leaking this next time i go out still same tent really hair matches leaks on me so i'm sleeping on the ground freezing my ass off just <clears throat> shitty conditions but weather it, it heated up again so it, just, it pushes the elk whip into the pines and you get up there and you start cow calling or whatever and then you, you hear some so you get excited and you get a little closer and they're coming to you you're coming to them and lo and behold it's another guy Oh, so you're you, no. you're having this freaking you know cow talk off. And, do you do you get that dead stare in between each other? Like, like motherfucker, yeah. you motherfucker. Yeah, on a Monday morning or a Tuesday morning, I was underneath a ridge and uh, heard a cow elk coming up just around top of me. So I was getting excited. So you got, saw him though, huh? This I eventually saw the dude. Yeah, but the whole time I thought it was a, a cow elk. And this guy, you know, prof said me, he sounded good. He he's sounded, like, he sounded <laughs> So I'm getting excited. So I'm doing my he's cow calls. Excited, like, he's you know? like, oh, shit. And so we're meeting them, you know, meet me halfway. Kind of thing. So I started creeping up to the hillside and see if I can get a better shot. And then I see this dude out in the field. Like, oh, that fucking sucks. So do you think now that the, the, that the, so often. the, 
the way the world is right now, that in that instance, <laughs> there could be like some broke back moments. Be like, uh, well, we were here for He's the same all, reason. I've been, and I've, been, <laughs> I've been cold. I've been wet. <clears throat> You're obviously cold and wet also. So I love the sound of your, your bull call. <laughs> You've seen that movie, right? No. no. Have you? Mm-hmm. Was it good? The uh, Everything but that one point. So the whole movie's not based around no. <clears throat> a it's, couple it's, of dudes it's, falling in love, right? Essentially, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, so they're, uh, they're uh, sheep herders. Oh, well, not, there you go. I'm, I'm not sure if, <laughs> if they're in Montana or Colorado where they're at, but they're, they're teamed up to you know watch, watch the herd and all that. And then one lonely night, they're cut up in the tent, and they just, uh, oh, yeah, dude, it's a very aggressive scene. Oh, wow. So he spits on his hand and. Oh, get the fuck out of swear here. Swear to God. And then fucking pulls it, rips his pants down. And and then after that, they fall in love. And so every year they plan this uh, uh, annual fishing, trip, this huh? fishing trip. Oh, but yeah. It's, it's that's fishing, fishing for something. Fish, but it's for them to, for fish, <laughs> Fishing for sewer salmon. Huh? <laughs> for them to, you know, <laughs> get back. Got some downriggers. <laughs> Scenery is beautiful. <clears throat> other than, you know, this, uh, scene. <laughs> Yo, when we were up at, um, oh, we went to the canyon <clears throat> on the other side of uh, Manti. Um, so on the back, like Joe's Valley? <clears throat> no, like the next the canyon the, over oh, Mayfield? to the south, to Mayfield. Okay. And, and I talked yeah, to you I was about actually going to see if you guys, did you guys ever find a camping spot? Oh, yeah, spot? so we, we yeah. found the camping spot. Did you guys actually spot. go to Manti so first? We, or? we went into the very beginning, and we went to, like, just before you go in to drop into the canyon. Okay. We found a spot outside, but it was where all the cows were. Yeah. It was it was open. Was there Mayfield was nothing canyon, there. So. Yes. Yeah, okay. So we, we spent the first night there. The second night after going riding, we found a much better mm-hmm. spot inside the canyon. Went and moved, packed, do what a pain yeah. in the ass, oh, yeah. pack everything up, twice. moved twice down the road weekend. five miles, yeah. right? And set up camp. How and found much better was all, it? Oh, dude, yeah, it was exactly. it, <laughs> on, under the trees. <laughs> yep. We were in the shade the entire time. It was fucking beautiful. So areas that we went into, I've never explored that side. Oh, dude. And it's, it's uh, we found areas that were fully shaded trails mm-hmm. for three hours. Oh, yeah. Down in mud bogs yep. and just one of the most one of the most beautiful places I've ever yep. ridden. And you know, obviously, you get on top of skyline and stuff. So six and, mile canyon. That's when I was. It comes out of like Palisades. Uh, yes. So yes. if you can take, you can actually park in Palisades and drive up. But we always drop down from top. But yeah, the very bottom of that it's just deep, lush pines. Yeah. And then yeah, the mud bogs and all that stuff. And you just climb and climb and climb and then you just start. It's it's amazing. It was it's, it was it was awesome. We will definitely go yeah. back to that area. Um, Got a trailer. Oh, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, so, so I, I, everything's a go now. I just so, got, got the go-ahead today that everything's final. We'll uh, we'll take the truck in tomorrow. I'll, I'll pick it up probably next week when they, they'll throw new batteries in it yeah. and do me the walk around on the whole oh, yeah. thing. So Have you I'm pulled excited. anything that big? Um, that heavy? Yeah, on, uh, you know, doing traffic. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to pull... Not that long of yeah. a trailer, but that heavy of yeah. a trailer. Awesome. You know, you full of uh, drums yeah. and things like that. Mm-hmm. So, um, do I have a lot of experience on it? No. no I, the first thing you'll figure out real quick is just your stopping distance. <laughs> Shit creeps up. On I you can only fast. imagine. But you got that engine brake, though, don't you, on your dog? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But now that's just going to allow you, it's just going to be so much easier because you've been doing the uh, enclosed trailer camping. Yeah, I've been you know? sleeping in the enclosed trailer. So. And, and, you know, it was to me. I'm fine with yeah, the tent. Fine. I'm fine taking a shit in the yeah. in the woods, yeah, right? Funny. Well, I have a wife mm-hmm. and two daughters, yeah. and they're just like, no, Tonight, dad. It's just a lot different. Yeah. It, it changes everything, yeah. right? So, see, I grew up in trailers and all that, and then every now and then we we sell a trailer and have to do the we did the enclosed trailer for thing for a while, then bought a fifth wheel, then divorced, then I bought a new one. <laughs> And then we had to sell this trailer because uh, the frame bent to shit. So I was like, ah, so this year was screwed. So be, we, all the camp we did was out of tents. Yeah. But so hunting, when you wake up the morning in a tent. At 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Four morning, right? you're wet, you're cold. You don't got a whole lot of motivation to get going. I can in imagine. A tent, so. Or in a trailer, you're warm, you're snuggled up in your shit, you know. You fire up the stove, make some coffee, and, you know, you can get ready nice and peacefully and warm, but... Right. Yeah, it's just, I've been spoiled. 
with that kind of hunting, but I do like the hunting where you can just put everything on your backpack and go. But camping wise, the family definitely the trailer's gonna be the way to go. And you know, yeah, the enclosed thing was probably fun. It, it got you through it, but yeah. you're gonna you're gonna love this. We we enjoyed how you know we we realized how much we enjoy the sport itself yep. of <clears throat> it's you just know getting uh, together and just even if you're not even riding just. Setting up camp and hanging out. Yeah, just being that, people. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Spending the time with the family. Just watch the kids you know, and screw um, around stuff. The kids oh. enjoy going out. They'll enjoy it even more oh, yeah. now that we have a trailer yeah. and they have their own area. And we do we go overboard? Absolutely. I bought something that I but told myself I wasn't gonna buy, but I still did it anyway. <laughs> no, you're gonna but love it. once it, you're set up, you're gonna look it back. It fits and like, everything. Yeah. I don't have to modify anything. It's just it'll work perfect. So uh, I'm excited. Um a big purchase, they a very big cheap. purchase. Yep. Right. So, have you ever thought about doing the fifth wheel and just pulling double thing? Um, that's where I'm. That's where I'm usually just going back for because I feel like you just get more livable space. But yeah, the toy but, hauler is ultimately because you got to you know you, everything's contained. Once you load the machine in the back there, you got your fuel. Everything's right there, and then your generator runs off the fuel. You pump. You know, gas cans. You don't need gas cans anymore. The the beauty part about what we bought was um, the garage is a garage it's separate, but garage. it's uh, a living quarter. Yeah, you it's, still drop it's the nice. Down it has its own bathroom, mm -hmm. yeah. has its own couches, has its own bed in it. Now, once they start putting the half bath back there, that's a game changer because you're not yeah, tracking. And, and that's it. that's what I got was a half bath, yep. a, enough room to take a dump and yep. wash your hands. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'll there's, give there's you a, a spot for the guests. There's a TV in the garage. The in the back, so I'm yeah. coming with you and passing out in the back. Yeah, I can sit back there and beat off in your little <laughs> station there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll beat off everywhere. And I'll beat off in the razor. Why it's going down the road if I can. But uh, uh, no, it, uh, I'm excited about it. Um, <clears throat> I've I've just um, tapped into this new this new world of camping like this mm -hmm. right i didn't my, my parents didn't take me camping as a mm -hmm. child you know i remember going camping with my dad uh I, I take that back i went i remember going with my mom and dad one time when i was very little oh, wow. <clears throat> very little and um obviously we had a tent we mm -hmm. didn't have trailers or anything like that and then we would go to vernal you okay. know in our property in vernal but we always had the the home out there yeah. to stay in. So More it really less, wasn't camping there. Home. And then my dad took me camping one time on the motorcycle. Um, <clears throat> we stayed in a tent once. Was that the gold wing? Uh, it was the gold wing. <laughs> rocking the gold wing. No, excuse me. When this trip happened, we were in the Yamaha Venture. Oh, okay. So it was like a gold wing. Yeah. It was their it's version of the yeah, gold wing, yeah. right? Um, and it was one of the funnest times of my life. I'll never forget that. Yes. My dad and yeah. I sat around, and uh, he told me disgusting, dirty jokes mm -hmm. that you shouldn't hear as a kid. So just you and him around yeah, campfire. Yeah, just me and him. Just, yep. Yep. Um, and then, uh, I obviously, uh, met, met Brindy, and that's all she's ever done is camp. camp. That mm -hmm. she, she was raised like you. You yeah. know, they went hunting, mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they always had a trailer, and they always went camping. So it was all pretty new to me. So now maybe I'm just feed all in the fire I'm, I'm i'm going way into it because i no, enjoy it not. so much you're but. doing i think for your family for your and your happiness what you just did it, i feel like it's gonna secure it more yeah you're gonna love it good it just it's just the convenience yeah it's but it, it's just it's so much easier everything's there and then just the times you can have the relationships you can build yeah you know because i've been camping for you know all my life yeah. and they, it was either it was they my parents always had the trailers but we, we was kids would always be just put in the tent, which is fine. Yeah. You know, when I, I didn't get my first trailer till I was shit 30. Yeah. So, but now it just, you get spoiled because, you know, it's, you know, it's nice to have that, but you know, it takes maintenance. It takes a place to store it. You know, it's just. You yeah, haven't figured that out. I was yet. gonna ask you where the hell you can put that. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I've figured out. I've uh, seen I, how big. I, the, <laughs> hey, I bought the horse before I bought the yeah, pasture. <laughs> no, that's they got plenty of storage units around. That's what I did when I bought this uh, last fifth wheel. I was with my mom because I wasn't gonna stick it to her house. So I had a place in uh, West Haven. And it was fifty bucks a, a month. wasn't bad at all. Mm. But then we bought this house in, or rented this house in Kaysville. Had the RV storage. Right. So, <clears throat> but now you love it. It's it's good stuff. And then just you and Brittany want to take off and just go and or the kids and got plenty of room for everybody and 
Yeah, we got a big trip planned in uh, October. I'm, in fact, it's my my the the one trip I've planned for the year where I'm taking. I essentially have like a, I have it? a week and a half off oh. that I'm going to go out, and yeah, we're just going to go up to Sand Hollow. Mm -hmm. um, UTV Invasion. Yeah, that's right. So I'm I'm excited. Um, the group I go with, some of them are going, some of them are like, ah, I don't care much for the crowd, mm -hmm. but I'm just going down there to just not work. Not work. You see so. now, as you can imagine, just hanging out your trailer and you got all the amenities you need and want right there. And go out and ride for a couple hours, come back and fire up the blender. Dude, it's, for... it's nicer than my house. Oh, dude, some of these nowadays are they're insane. Yeah, it's it's got um, a massage and heated chairs. Oh, yeah. The cup holders are uh, warm and cool. Some it's uh, I mean, it's <clears throat> it's it's stupid. Is it got an ice maker? Uh, it does have an ice maker. It's got a Dutch fridge, so the Dutch door fridge on it. <laughs> that ice maker alone. Yeah, be nice. <laughs> Worst thing about capping is fucking the ice problem. That is. So. It, so it really, and you know what? I found, you spend the money on a good cooler. Oh, yeah, definitely. That'll keep the ice. Yeah. Um, other than that, you're going to yep. go run back, back into and town. Forth, back and forth. So what I've been doing lately is buying, Blocks. I bought a, a block of ice. So I went hunting. I had a, I bought a, a lifetime cooler, one of those thicker ones. And I've been. I like how you said thick. Thicker. Girthy. It's girthy all around. Yeah. Everything's girthy, you know. <laughs> but uh, you are the other side of the beehive, by the way. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I wasn't a, you know a super expensive one, but I decided I wanted to try one of these out and been buying blocks of ice and shit. That block of ice stay in there for hell. It's I took it out four days ago and put it back <clears> in my freezer. But there's tricks, you know, those dry ice you can. You know, put on the bottom with your ice, mix in that, keep it in the cold. But with the trailer, oh, I, mean, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, I yeah, didn't take, know you uh, could do the dry ice. What trick. we used to do is when you have like a, a cheaper cooler, lay a uh, towel on the bottom of them, buy seven eight pounds of dry ice, chop it up, and then mix that together with a regular bag of uh, crushed ice, mm -hmm. and it almost melts it and freezes it together to make one super thick, super cold layer of ice. You said thick again. Super, <laughs> the thickest, <laughs> the coldest. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I, I used to do that going elk hunting, and I would actually freeze food if it was. Yeah. So I'd have to put like a cookie sheet and put all my food yeah. on top of that, but it would freeze it. <clears throat> but there again, it's just a pain in the ass. But you know, having a trailer, but having to, you know, when you're going on your rides, you want ice, yeah, and your drinks and all that. Yeah. So your adult beverages. But. No, we drink soda pop. Yeah. No adult beverages. No. no, just soda pop. Dude, I've been coming down with I think a problem. Oh, you got a drinking problem now. I'm not bud. sure, but I, I'll come back. Well, from... anybody that says, uh, <laughs> I think sure I might I have a drinking problem, not sure. That's when uh, is that, AA is, that is that a red flag? Come hey, join hey, us, my friend. The number to excuse <laughs> cross, Bob. No, I get back from, from hunting the other day, and, uh, you know, I, I brought this a 12 pack, and uh, normally I don't even drink up there, but it's just, eh, you know, I'll have one when I get back to camp. And uh, told Morgan to come back, and I just was craving it. Just, just a beer? No, I mean, up there, yeah, but I come back and I just would crave some whiskey, Jack, whatever, and just, we've been on a couple of day bingers of some hard drink in the last few days, and maybe this is sticking my Yo, system. every time I hang out with you guys, so, probably. It's a uh, game on. No, yeah, we don't tend to you mess around. Yeah, you don't fuck around. No, we're right? not going to have a couple, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, bring your so, coolers and your, and see, unfortunately, <clears throat> Morgan hates beer, so it's always whiskey or some type of yeah. liquor with her hard shit. And, yeah, God bless her. She she doesn't drink cocktails all either. It's just shots. It's just taking shots. But I've right. noticed with her, and it makes perfect sense, is she'll only do, I always, like a normal shot, I'll do a full shot, but she always does just like take a half a little, shot. Half a, a little shot. One. So, and it really occurred to me, so when she pours everybody shots, you know, she'll just pour them all half shots. Me, the asshole pulling Four, you know, full shots, everybody. Right. Wondering why I'm fucking out of my mind in about two hours. Well, but no, I don't know. I told her that, hey, I think I might be coming out with a problem with alcohol. Ah, you're fine. It's like, well, okay, you say I'm fine, so <laughs> crack another beer. Sounds well, like she's a professional. She yeah. knows how to, uh, yep. how to. Uh, she's been bartending for most of her adult life. Actually, she probably, well, at least till she uh 21, but she probably, I think she said she was kind of doing some underground shit at like 18, 19, Ooh, but illegal. Speakeasies, yeah. huh? Yes, yes. So, yeah, she's been bartending for a long time, but loves it. Still very good at it. Makes <clears throat> a lot better money than she does anywhere else at it. So. God bless her. <clears throat> I have to say, um, probably the best wedding I've ever been to. I've heard that from quite a few people. And I appreciate that. Yeah, probably the best wedding I've been to. Um, I had an absolute My grandparents blast. had a great time. And they are, they're very LDS and not don't want to be around any longer than they have to. They are there from, shit, five to 
whenever everybody else left. It was a, it was a, yeah. it was a great time. No, I had a great um, time. Everybody. It was good to see a lot of people yeah. that um, <clears throat> saw Bambro. Yep. Yep. Old name. Um, saw, uh, and I was got there, to hang totally. out with your sister yeah. and uh, her hubby, and yep. they were uh, they were a riot. Oh, yeah. I love no, those really two. Was, you get them all in the riot environment, and, you know, it's, it's always a good time. But, no, it was a fun. It was a blast. Was, I stood in front of everybody and gave a speech. And I can't believe... Not that you did it, you killed it with that. My mom, because you know, I was nervous and shy. My mom is for her to get up there and you know, say a little something about us. That was that was very impressive, but no, you did an excellent job on that. Uh, the it was cue, all about the, no, the cue cards, the presentation <laughs> that come off that was, that was awesome. It's like, it's you, all see, about- you said that too a few weeks before. Hey, mind if I do the cue cards? Well, yeah, that'd actually, be pretty cool. <laughs> if I can show <clears> shit. <throat> It was a fun time. It was a oh, beautiful wedding. Appreciate um, it. I got. I have pictures. I you you sent to me. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there's a great one of me kissing you. Yeah, so without that, <laughs> well, seem still sporting that one. Oh, look yeah. at that! I actually went and got it uh, resized. Did you? Yeah, twenty five bucks. That's a racket. Good. But yeah, I was. Well. I I thought about yanking it out myself. But I'm gonna fuck that up. So yeah, just no. get a resize. I like this thing though. I've it's a uh, uh, a watch to. A watch is something you can have forever, right? Definitely. And it's, I've never uh, been a watch person. Yeah. And ever since I got this from you, every chance I get, you know, I, I wear it. You know, I, I enjoy I, I enjoy watches. So, so yeah. you were a right hand man. Is there a preference? You know what? I was there, left uh, yeah. until I got a sleeve. Oh, okay. And then no, for some good, reason yeah. I just put it over here and I've never looked back. Looks good though. But I've always been a uh, yeah. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to it. Maybe I don't think it's left. like the earring when yeah, in the eighties, like ooh, you're queer if you're on the yeah, fucking left or right. Was it? It was the right. You're queer, right? That, yeah. So that's the one I got my little nub in there because I, I did that. Do you, you have your ears pierced? At one time. Did you? Hmm? Both of them. At first, it was the one. Then that came up. Like, we no, all just did do, the one. Right? <laughs> you got to do the other ones. Like, oh shit. No, I did the ears. I did the nipples. Um, I'm sure. I don't think I've pierced my penis. I did. Did you? Absolutely, I did. Through the yeah, head? And, no. and the head and through the bottom. Ugh, how was that? Uh, well, I did it myself. Oh fuck! So it was. Uh, what does the dog say when he sits on the sandpaper? <laughs> Rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Did you go fast or just kind of like? Well, you can't go fast. Oh damn! You can't go fast. It was like when I did my nipples. I couldn't go fast. See, my we did my nipples. We was at a party, obviously drunk, and we was in a. My buddy had like safety pin. He's like, yeah, that's just, how just I did it. Do a that. safety pin in a in a court, and then left it there. He's like, ah, fuck, now it's sold down. It's like, well, the next day I'll go to Spencer's and get the hollow needle and do a real <laughs> a real one. So I had my brother in law do that. So we're at Spencer's. I'm just picking out some cool looking hoops, or whatever, some jewelry, yeah, and then get the hollow needle and shit. And go to my sister's brother in law's house, and he's like, yeah, I'll do that for you. And Pull your shirt up. You're all, Ugh! probably the <laughs> your nipple was this big. <laughs> probably the worst pain I've ever oh, been through because yeah. so we numbed it with ice cube. That doesn't do shit. No, no, you got to. So he run. had, but you know, they, with a professionally done, that's just razor sharp yeah, and it's they, like that. And and he struggled, so he's shaking, trying to push uh-huh. it through. Uh-huh. So just like you know, I don't know why it, it was like that, but it just and it took no shit, fifteen seconds to push that sucker through. Yeah. And then he's like, "All right, you ready?" My work for what? Oh, now we got to do the other one. Oh, oh no. I need a minute. So both got them done. Had, at that time, I think I just had the barbells. They say just do the barbells at first, and then you put the hoops in. And I had those in for like three months. Kept snagging them on my shirt. Yep. Like, oh, this is stupid. So about three months. Yeah, I didn't wear mine very long yeah. either. Yo, do you think uh, uh, like barbells or piercings through a woman's ni- nipples are sexy? So Morgan has hers done. Oh, she does? Um, at first, she did the, had the barbells. Then I told her to put the hoops in it. And I like the way the hoops look. Um, I could go either way on pierced nipples on women. Sometimes it looks bad. Sometimes it looks sexy. It just depends. You're not set in your ways, though? No, I'm not. I could go either way. <clears throat> okay. So, okay. So she was with her. So she got those done. I can't remember why we decided to. I might have been just, hey, you should get your nipples done kind of thing. And yeah. she did that. And then one day my buddy's wife, she was thinking about getting her clip pierced. And then I told Morgan, hey, I'm just thinking about getting her a clip pierce. We think about that. So oh, that'd be cool. Like, hey, you should go do it. So, all okay. right. So I was like, oh. so paid. I said, like, yeah, fuck, I'll you know pay for it. So she went and got her clip pierced, and she said that was like painless, just nothing, nothing to it. Really? And then uh, said she had some problems for a few weeks later. Just it would just act up and get kind of painful and all that. But my buddy's wife, she said, yeah, the next day was no, no problem at all. That. So she's got a very sensitive 
clit to begin with, so she didn't need it done. Sensitive good? Good. Well, or? it's borderline. I mean, well, it's good for me, you know, because that's just, it doesn't take a whole lot. I don't, I don't got to be hanging out very fucking long. <laughs> you ain't got to be down <laughs> you know? there, down there fucking so, blowing yeah. bubbles, right? Oh, God damn it. Are we there yet? Just give me a tap on that when you, you think you might be getting close. My jaw is cramping up. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, is that, would that worse? Oh, We're just, I, 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 no, I, I, so I start thinking I'm doing this technique and I think I'm fucking killing it, right? And she's just like snoring. Like, she's, 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 <laughs> she's reading the fucking, fucking novel. She's tick, talking and shit. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> fucking dying down here. <laughs> but uh, so she got that done, and it's. She says like when she'll walk, it'll like fold over. Oh, of like, course it you will. Know, it hits certain <laughs> spots and stuff. So that's cool. But it's. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we've actually played with enough to really. There again, that could, I could go either way or not. And she said too, she don't. She didn't need it. And she this is what it is. Yeah, huh? She said, it, but my buddy's wife, she has. Um. She had the, I think this, there's several different uh, uh, piercing styles, I guess. And I think they got the same one, but she <laughs> just like, you know, they call it the Victoria or the uh, just different. <laughs> fuck you. It's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like <laughs> ethnicity, Jesus. several different kinds. I don't want to fucking pronounce it. <laughs> but she had her done and she loves it. She said this. She wishes she would have got it done years ago. Said really? It's sensitive. It just amplifies everything. She just gets off a lot easier, and just for her, it's night and day. Hmm. Morgan, it's. She says, "Yeah, I can feel it better, but it's nothing more, like a whole hell of a lot more." Right. So it just depends on the woman, the shape, the anatomy, I guess. But hmm. I, for one, would never think about piercing my dick. I just the nipples see. were worse than my dick was. I can I can imagine that. Yeah, absolutely. The nipples were way worse. So did it do anything for you, pleasure wise? No, fuck just, no. It was the end of my dick. It's not like that. The bottom half of your shaft yeah. is 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 sensitive. And, 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 anyway. and even then, when I did it, it's not like I was <clears throat> out there plowing it, for God's sakes, right? <laughs> I was boys, a stupid teenager. Yeah, I, was, I was. Yeah, I'm like, in all honesty, when I beat off, no. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is this? What <laughs> it am just I doing? got in the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I bought one of those. Um, they call it glands ring. It goes around the head, and it's got like a ball on the bottom of it. You ever seen those? Uh, okay, so we're talking about. It's not the surgical. It's just that you roll it over, you slide it. It's like a ring, and you slide Cook it over. Ring. No, that one goes all the way to the base. Oh, this okay. one is just on the head. Okay. They call it glance. So, so just, it stops right behind the ridge. Yeah, so it just holds it in place behind okay. the head there. And never really got to use it with anybody. Was it like a rubber? No, it was a metal. A metal mm -hmm. ring that goes around the you back of the head. Push it on your dick. And then once, you know, it stays put, then obviously when you get hard, it tightens up real tight. And there's like a ball on the end of it, on the bottom of it, it just kind of hits the underneath of your. Oh, I don't know. The bottom of your well, you've got two hands in the air, like you're cupping, a, <laughs> like you're gonna drink water, like a fucking, like you've been a stream. The other side of your your head, I guess, but okay. it's supposed to hit there, and the pressure is supposed to feel better when you're having sex. But what I if know. you lost it? It's a chance you're willing to take, I guess. <laughs> There's only one other place it would be. But I know, I, I understand that, but I can see your hands are not that big. Oh, you don't have a little fucking... You don't, little, you don't have well, this. Shit. It's not like you got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar fucking a, fingers. A, phone, You're trying to dig I'm, that fucker. phone a friend here. <laughs> E.T. So, fucking fingers. Hey, trying fucking, to get that fucker out of there. Got a fucking headlamp e. on there. E.T. phone home. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, I tried all that weird shit. Fucking like cock rings. I've done like a metal cock ring. Okay. Like a solid metal one. And that shit hurts. It just... Oh my god! What is the what is the 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 thought process behind the cock ring? Like what what is it supposed to do? What it's do? supposed to do is um, just more or less keep everything super hard, a little bit thicker. Pleasure. <laughs> there you, you go with that word again. God, That's gonna be the name of this episode. This a little bit thicker, <laughs> little thicker. with Jason Baum. <laughs> Angel <laughs> rap. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Boom. Perfect. Uh, but um. Sensitivity. So when I'd wear one, this when you're having sex, everything is just super sensitive. Oh, really? When you did have it, when you got off, it was a lot more intense. But really, mm -hmm. yo, so. when I was painting houses, and I'll never forget this, I was just out of high school, and this is just before I got into <clears throat> road construction. Go get yourself yeah. another beer, there, bud. Do you need another glass of Tiger Thick? Shout out to Thick. Thick. Shout out to. Thick. Um, I remember this guy who I worked for, um, <clears throat> very, very Mormon, very Mormon, mm -hmm. and he owned the company. This was uh, your... Um, 
before company one way oh i mean this way. is i oh, was 19. i was Just, 18 years oh, okay. old All right. if that right no fact i was 18 because he rented me a home it was the, when i moved out of my house at 18 huh. he was my landlord and my boss friend, huh? Took care yeah, of you. figure that right. Don't ever do that. At, by the way, yeah. So, um, but he told me he's like, um, "Yo, you uh, yeah, very Mormon." Mm -hmm. Got went on a mission. Was probably in his later twenties, and he had a bunch of young kids who were not Mormon, and so. Name wasn't Rob Burton, was it? So, no, to, <laughs> to probably don't say names on the podcast, right? By the way, right. <laughs> um, but to mesh with your coworkers, like, uh, you know, those guys, we all know them that were, um, grew up very, um, so structure like con conservative, right? LDS, for right. This, or this. But when they're outside, oh, yeah, night the, and day. the old yeah, joke, that, right? Yeah. Why never take a Mormon, uh, camping with this? Yeah. Cause you'll drink all your beer, that yeah. kind of shit. Okay, right. Yeah. But he would ask me, he's like, Hey, you guys ever beat off and then just before you get ready to nut, squeeze it really tight. What the fuck? And it'll feel really good. And I thought to myself, I says, well, I don't think that's very healthy, right? No, it doesn't sound like it. So <clears throat> hearing that, I'm like, well, I gotta try it, right? Squeeze your dick or squeeze like your it balls. so it, it won't no your 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 uh your your dong. Yeah. Squeeze your dong so it doesn't can't ejaculate, okay. right? The most painful thing I've ever done in my life, right? So how much pressure you just give her a good? Oh, I gave I gave her hell, right? I was I was basically fixing a radiator leak at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you could have could have put a, a oh, fucking, okay. fucking hey, off. Could have put a fucking radiator clamp on that fucker, right? <laughs> and not with a screwdriver, but with an actual <laughs> wrench, right? <laughs> it was the most oh, painful man. shit in the world, right? Holy hell! <laughs> so. Anyway, that's what? What, that was my th thought process oh, behind yeah. the cock ring. So if it was it was holding it. Yeah, so they got rubber ones. <laughs> of course they do. And then they, you know, a little stretch. But this, the one I saw, I tried those before. And it's like, eh, what, I don't really understand. At the time, I didn't really understand the whole thought process around it. And read on these, like a metal one. The metal one can't constrict, obviously. It's a solid. No, it can constrict. It doesn't swell, right? Well, it's not. Yeah, these are thick. This heavy, heavy fucking metal. It's, I was pretty impressed when I bought it. And, uh, so I use that and, but there again, I was going through, it's like, I was trying shit with first wife and just what thought we'd maybe try some different stuff. And what this did to me, it made it feel better when I got up. But no, we never had sex with it and just because, you know, we weren't let's, at that point, but <laughs> let's be honest. There's no sex toy in the world that is, uh, makes sex better for a man period no right mm -mm. all sex toys are built for uh, women women driven yeah you know for help them to get pleasure and there's a lot of women we dated a gal that was uh we well yeah okay keep going <laughs> okay. then first wife well you said <laughs> that just jumps right out yeah <laughs> we were friends with a gal who <laughs> could not get off she was desensitized down there so she had every every fucking toy you can imagine and just still cannot get off and it was actually depressing it was sad because she just wanted to she's you know could in the in the past but then just something i don't know if it's childbirth or what but she had this vibrator it was like a goddamn electric toothbrush and so we okay. were just trying and it was intense and but yeah like i said this is all the toys are driven for women for their pleasure but Sometimes it doesn't work for them, sometimes it does. But yeah, as for men, there's nothing you're going to have on you while you're having sex or to make you feel better with sex. Right, right. I mean, <clears throat> unless you're by yourself, they got these badass fucking masturbatory toys, these blowjob toys. But then it's just weird because you're just by yourself. But, you know, in a sense, women are doing the same thing too. But no, the uh, evolution for women, men, it, I, it, can, uh, it can only go so no, far. You, you're, you're right. If you're like you, by yourself, and like, I, I, <clears throat> I will tell you this the wife tells me this, and. She works at Amazon. Okay. She says 40% of the shit that goes through there that we handle mm. are sex toys. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Believe it or not, she says it's all the fucking time. Mm. Male, female? Just everything. 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 Yeah. She says, and, and, and every single time, I love that she says this, every single time that you pick up a box, 
and it's sex toys, the box always breaks. Holy shit. So you're just so mad. you're the you're, you're the you're asshole. Hey, I, and you got rubber dicks all over the fucking floor, right? And everybody huh? <laughs> takes a look oh, at you, man. but every single time, but it, it's uh I thought, well that's kind of crazy, but it doesn't surprise me. No. It doesn't surprise me. No, Amazon, I mean they they're Fuck, they got well, you. sell everything, right? Everything. So, huh. no, we've, we've actually bought a couple toys off there, and just everything's there. It's cheap, and it gets to your house the next day, just about. So, <laughs> you know, if you're in a rush. So. <laughs> Yo, oh, you are on the social media now. It took you how many years before you finally said, all right, I'm going to join well, Yeah, the but Facebook. I still don't, but I don't do anything with it. I just, every now and then I'll post a little bit. I still don't understand how to actually, you know, precisely do my layouts and stuff my pictures you know i'll take pictures of me and maverick camper and the wife without doing stuff but i don't like actively post on there but i don't know you post more than i do yeah yeah so it's cool and all but basically it's just same like it was when i had it years ago just hanging out and just seeing what everybody else is doing more or less it's like because the uh, first the first time you were on here mm -hmm. you did not have social media Mm -hmm. and one of the greatest jokes that i remember in the 192 episodes we've been is angels all yo did you see this it was posted on yada yada and just in dead silence you're all well, I didn't see it. <laughs> and it was it was one of the greatest jokes ever because you had to know yeah, exactly, where you were coming exactly. from oh, when you God, said it, right? Yeah. But but I'll get on that now and mm-hmm. I'll see Jason Bound. Yeah. He's got a post and it's like, hey, yeah, what are you doing? Hey, are you doing something? Look at this yeah, guy. Yeah, so I'm trying, but but now there's some people on there. I I get overwhelmed because they just sit there and uh, evidently they're fishing for something. They want people to like and feel better about themselves or just it's reach out people to only them. only post the In highlights the of their life yeah people don't post i mean the majority of the people 99 percent of people don't post the bad times yeah, in their life definitely. right and if they do they're look they're fishing they're, yeah, for for someone to help for something for, right? for help or something you know somebody reach out to them and stuff but oh, i see these people on randomly i follow them and why why do i mean following you because all you talk about is negativity negativity and then once in a while, you'll bring up a picture of your child and, hey, I had a great day today, but... Ugly-ass kid, too. Yeah, like, Ugly-ass no, kid, right? I don't know. I get why people are doing it, and, you know, they're trying to reach out for something or another, but there's a lot of decent information on there, but the thing I got hooked on, not even social media, it still is-ish, but TikTok. I get the fuck, fuck out of I here, Jason. TikTok. Are you shitting I me? I fucking love TikTok. For all that, I mean, stupid shit, the recipes and stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. No, um, so this is it. You will, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Really? Yeah. You don't look at anything on TikTok. I just saw a meme on uh, Facebook, mm. social media, yeah. right? Why I was sitting in a meeting, just listening to what's going mm. on. And it had a guy, a uh, beautiful, I mean, buff black man. There taking off women's panties, hmm. and it's all guys who have TikTok accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an account, but well, you do because you've you're, oh, you're okay, on okay, it, right? I, okay, take that back. I guess. So, have, I have you made to. a TikTok video? Um, probably. With oh, more. you have, have you? No, you I'm, have, I'm you thinking. Have you. I'd have to look, but I'm not me personally. No. But like Morgan, she'll, hey, let's just do this stupid thing real quick. You know, do like the duets or, you know, the husband wife shit. Not very often, but she's got a few on there. She's probably got 60. Okay. So, and but it's okay for a girl. I, I oh, get yeah, that. Definitely. I honestly don't know if I, I, I've never posted anything of myself on TikTok. So, but okay. I, there's a lot of is. Well, we'll go with that. Jackasses on yeah, it's there. It's okay. Gym shit. Yeah, I get it. Well, it's okay. I got it. Pretty sure I have. <laughs> <laughs> Next would be like cock ring additions. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the, the, the ins and outs of the rubber, the fucking the solid metal ones. <laughs> Yo, that's what you ought to do. You do a uh, like a, a tutorial on do a reviews, reviews on, on, on cock, cock rings. Ring. Yeah, I'm sure it would make you could be the cock ring control. king. I like that. <laughs> Actually, starting to make me think about that. Uh, not Yo, this, not this little wiener. Um, the queen died. And we're still talking about it. We, me and Bam, just watched the a documentary on Princess Diana yesterday or two days ago. Yo, 
Kind so, of a kind of a fucked up deal. So I, what's your I, conspiracy about well, that? Well, see, I didn't know. I just figured, you know, because I never really looked into it because I didn't. You saw whatever. she died in an auto accident. That's it. That's right? it because right? what everybody was supposed to believe. But right. watching everything, the documentary on her. So she was married to was it Char- Prince Charles? Prince or, Charles. Or, or, okay, that so piece of shit. He had a, and I didn't know. Was he had an affair? By the way, don't talk shit about my people because I'm a lord. By the way, <laughs> no, you know she, this, right? You count. <laughs> no, I'm a lord. <laughs> A lord? <laughs> when, when a lord, when I went and did the genealogy, the genealogy, yeah. I'm high enough English that I could be in the the house. What the fuck you doing here? Look at me. Come on, they'll take you. Come on, I'm too good looking to be in there. What my teeth, do? my teeth are straight. Yeah, your, your teeth are lost. Uh, That's the one thing yeah. I was looking at all these reviews. These I don't have shit like, breath. My God, I don't have shit breath. It's fucking awesome anyway, power of shit. Continue with the with uh, Princess Diana. So yeah, so they get married and Prince Charles. Yeah. So having an affair the whole time. Absolutely. With uh, Camille. Camille, yeah. Camille, and I had no idea of this stuff. And really, you don't remember oh, this? Dude, I don't. I didn't follow any of that stuff. And then come to find out that, you know, she's getting all the fame and all that because she's, you know, she was a polite loved woman. Yeah, so by polite everybody. Because she'd always go up and, you know, shake and glad hand everybody. And you know who didn't like that? Her husband. The queen. Yeah. And so that's where it kind of let, and I believe, had something to do with, I believe, you know, oh, shit. everybody, the conspiracies and all that, but do I kind of fell asleep to the last bit of it. Do so. you believe that um, it was planned to have her killed? I... <clears throat> Everything leading up to it. Why not? They f- they got her in the tunnel. They waited until she got in the tunnel, mm-hmm. right? And then that car wrecked into her mm-hmm. and killed her. The papar- paparazzi. Yeah. Right? So they claimed that it was that. Yep. That, yeah. But how shitty. She was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And she was a very, very sweet. I mean, the people loved her. No, just when and, at the and, funeral, just everybody just crying. I mean, just sobbing, just insanely over so I, I believe it was a bigger deal when she died than when the queen died. Oh, yeah, right like, now. like yeah, i get yeah, it right yeah, now yeah, I, I totally still, understand that's we're on saying. It's just 12 nobody. days of um uh grievance mm-hmm. or whatever it is right now um but uh yeah it was a big deal back nothing, in back in the 80s yeah, when she did die, nothing right? compared to what you know when pristina died so that's that's insane <clears> how much <throat> clout you know compared to the queen but so now that mother so she fu- would have been a queen though correct oh, if yes. she was still yes. alive yeah Yep. Hmm. Shit's crazy. How would it be? Like, have you ever thought about going overseas and traveling? Yes and no. I mean, it's never been if, my. If you had a free ticket to go on a vacation for a week, where would you go? I've always liked Scotland, Ireland kind of stuff. I like yeah, the, me too. the castles, you know. You'd fit in there. Well, the, the red, red hair, things. the blue eyes. I like Guinness. <laughs> Do you? I don't like Guinness. Uh, And you know what I hear, though? Anybody that says, yeah, I like Guinness, the real Irish over there, like, listen here, American. Get the fuck out of here. It's it's an American thing. It's like going to Australia and saying, give me a Foster's. Yeah, Yeah, I guess they drink their Guinness like at 50 degrees or something. Like warm, warm, on the warmer side and all that. uh, No, I just, I've, I think that'd be cool just to, you know, travel around, see, see the castles and all that. Just the country, but I don't know. I'm, I'm easy. I mean, traveling wise. No, I'm easy. <laughs> God damn. Hey, come on. Where would you go? I'm easy on Sunday morning. Can't do this. Yeah. Okay. See. Um, I've always wanted to go to like New Zealand, mm-hmm. but if I had to pick one, um, I've always been fascinated with like Japan. Okay. Because of like the Pride FC yeah. fights, yeah, I could see you. I would yeah, love to go yeah. to some of those events, mm-hmm. or um, I that's mean, still actually I cool. mean, right is here, that's still real. Though? Thailand, yeah, go to Thailand yeah. and go so watch is that Pride some stuff real. Still going on? No, there, a, I mean, there's uh, uh, one FC. Okay. They're kind of like Pride, but the magic is gone. Oh, like okay. that, that'll never happen again. So Pride's but no longer. <clears throat> to me, it would be amazing to go to Thailand and like real, real Muay Thai yeah. fights. Yeah. Um, I know the fan would be like, "What the fuck, man!" Mm-hmm. The but book. New Zealand, um, yeah. Thailand, Japan, and I would love to go to Ireland. Yeah. I do have some Ireland roots. I need to try because we have a uh, Fit Simmons is in our line. Fit Simmons, huh? yeah. We have a, for some whatever reason, Morgan bought us a, a DNA test for Mavericks. She goes, I just want to make sure Mavericks really yours. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So, what is going to do one of those? I just <laughs> Play just, got quiet here for a second. <laughs> I was like, mm. I was like, 
Have you seen him? He looks identical. <laughs> <laughs> identical, for God's sakes. <laughs> I just saw this custody shit, but no, I would like to do a legit DNA see about my true background and all that, and it'd be interesting to see. She did one, and uh, she found out she's quite a bit more Irish than she thought, but. I'm not surprised. He just kind of drinks a lot. <laughs> Whether that's a thing. But. <laughs> the Germans and them Irish. Right. You know how to so, kick it down, mm-hmm. right? Well, uh, no. Good times. Nice. Well, well, should we get out of here? Do it. I appreciate you good. coming on, my friend. No, this is actually fun. I'm a uh, lot more relaxed. I, I, I was going to be by myself. How would you? Have you done one by yourself? No, this is the first one. Yeah, how would that this work? This is the f- you want you want to hear the backstory. This is the first the other side of the beehive, without my man Angel Severa. Wow, he has done a hundred and ninety one episodes. Now I've missed quite a few, but you know I have a family yeah, to a you tougher. know. I, uh, I like kids. He hates kids. You know. I still you remember know, the first day when you called right? me and said I'm doing a podcast. I still remember <clears> what I, I was cleaning my hot tub, and you said I'm going to start a I'm going to start a podcast. You didn't believe it would go this far, did you? <laughs> well, look at you. Um, uh, I mean, we're three and a half, almost four yeah. years into yeah. this thing, right? Well, it's been crazy. Awesome. It's been a fun ride. It's awesome. Um, but I'm glad. I, I'm glad Angel's out having fun. Yeah. And I'm glad that yeah, I was able to step in. Yep. And I put the bat signal out. You couldn't make it the week Mm-mm. before. No. But we were able to make it happen yep. the week it needed to happen. Yep. So Same. I thank you for coming on yeah, and helping me out. Um. Tell the people where they can find you on the Facebook and not on the TikTok because if you tell them you have a TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. Oh, I'm fuck. on it, but I'm not. But I just believe my name is Jason Bound on Facebook. It's B O W N. Yeah, it's not Brown, not Bone. Bound. <laughs> not Bone, not Brown. <laughs> thick. <laughs> thick. Jason Thick. Mm-hmm. Bound. Yeah. Don't be too surprised you get on there. There's not a whole lot going on, so. Uh, yeah. I feel yeah. That's the way it Whatever. goes, right? I'm not That's a big social media guy yeah. either. But I- um. <clears throat> Thanks for coming on. Um, Go to the YouTube page, subscribe, hit the notification button. We release a new video uh, every Monday morning for the episode. Um, Follow us, share us, give us love, and uh, anything else to say? Go out with one word. One word. I'm going to go on the thick side. I love it. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you on the other side of the beehive. Say it. See you on the other side. No, you got damn it. You side. fucked it up. You're supposed to say peace. So, thank you so much peace. for joining us. We will see you on the other side of the beehive. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>